I want to go about my life in peace. And if it takes me carrying my gun all the time, then that's what it takes. My job is to protect myself and my family. Two anti-gun extremists who think taking away 320 million guns in America is going to solve the problem, it's a total pipe dream. I was a Navy SEAL for 20 years. In 2013, I came out as transgender, and I started living my life as Kristen instead of Christopher. Uh, groups of people like myself, transgender people, we're being killed at one per week in America. There's a huge amount of violence against LGBT people. And so I'd say that you do need to protect yourselves. And if it takes you carrying a weapon because weapons are being used against you, then that's what you have to do. Do you live around here locally? Yeah, I live right down the street. Because I'm running for Congress in this district. Really? I didn't know if you knew that. Wow, cool. So cool. this is one of my cards. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm running as a Democrat. Okay. I'm uh, Definitely don't mind the guns too much, okay. as you can tell. But I'm also kind of conservative in some way, but then very liberal in other ways. Okay. So All right. I'm working hard on this, man. For I your see. district. I see. For your district. We appreciate it. So I'm running for U.S. Congress in Maryland in the 5th District. I'm a blue dog Democrat. I fully support the Second Amendment, but I also support some gun control. And that doesn't count the criminals. I want to have harsh penalties for the illegal use of any guns. Criminal defense, I mean, I've represented, I've tried murder cases. My clients were convicted. Um, I've had death threats. Maybe because I've seen who's on, who's on the street, I've represented a lot of them. It's given me a view into society that most people don't have. Even if I were to retire tomorrow, I would still own firearms. I decided when I was 20 years old to shave my head and become a monk and live in the Hare Krishna temple. So we believe that any genuine spiritual tradition will require you to avoid unnecessary violence. And now the unnecessary is the operative word in that sentence. So there's no contradiction between my spiritual life and my role as a protector. I grew up very disinterested in guns. Uh, when I was 21, my eldest brother lost his life coming to the rescue of someone who was being attacked. Unfortunately, my brother didn't know the attacker had a knife and he was stabbed in the heart. That led me to looking at firearms uh, as uh, an effective tool for self-defense. You know, surprisingly enough, I find more acceptance among my conservative friends. They can be tolerant of my democratic socialist views and my, my veganism. So my liberal friends, <laughs> They just, you own a gun and you are a pariah. They just don't get it. Shooting for me is in a way very therapeutic. Uh, I like to actually compare marksmanship to yoga. It's both physical and it's mental and it's very spiritual. You're not Shooter indicates ready, stand by. My name is Chris Chang, and I shoot guns for a living. I'm History Channel's Top Shot Season 4 champion. An FBI specialist, an IT guy. I was working at Google at headquarters at the time. There are a lot of people who are surprised that I own guns. The problem is that we're all gun owners and users are getting lumped into one entity, the good and the bad and solutions that are being proposed and applied are disproportionately affecting the good people and honestly some of the proposals are not even attacking and restricting the bad people. I believe in gun control, but maybe it's not the same gun control as you think about. I don't want blanket gun control. So the, the key isn't to take away the tool from the people who are trained and the people who are responsible. The key is to make sure that everybody that wants to have that tool is qualified to have it.